Hey guys, it's Candace back with another video and for today's video we are going to talk about something requested from a few people and that is where have I been. Okay, so basically one day I was at work and I was with my, uh, my store manager and I just started to feel like kind of nauseous. So I went to the bathroom and I ended up throwing up and I don't really throw up often at all so I was pretty concerned about it. So she was pregnant at the time, so she was like, okay, you need to go home because I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get the baby sick. I totally understood that. So I was like, okay, no problem. I'll go home. So I went home, and all that night, I just kept throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. I tried to eat. I couldn't hold anything down. I tried to drink. I couldn't drink anything. Like, I just kept throwing up. I ended up calling out of work the next day. So she was like, what's going on? Do you think that you have the flu? And I was like, no, I don't have any cold symptoms. I'm just throwing up and I just feel so sick and so nauseous. So I decided that day to go to the emergency room. Well, I went to the emergency room and they put me on IV fluid and they sent me home. And they were like, oh, you're probably just dehydrated. And they tried to say, try to tell me that I had a UTI. And I was like, I know that I don't have a UTI because I don't have any symptoms of a UTI. Like, you know how you feel like you have to pee all the time and then you try to go pee and you just can't? I didn't have that. So I was like, I know I don't have a UTI. I know that there's like literally something wrong. So they sent me home. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I went home and the... All that night, I just kept throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. Still couldn't eat, still couldn't drink. So I went back to the emergency room. They gave me fluids. They sent me home. I went back to the emergency room again a third time. Um, they kept me for like two days, I think it was. And they kept me on fluids and whatnot. And then they sent me home. So I went back to the emergency room a fourth time. And at this point, I was pretty concerned because I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink. All I wanted to do was like take the medicine and sleep and that was it. And I had my kids home with me so I couldn't even take care of my kids and that was just awful. So when I went back the fourth time I was like listen I know that something is really wrong with me right now and you guys have to admit me and figure out what's going on. So that's what they did. They admitted me into the hospital. I was in the hospital for over a month so I want to say like five weeks I was in the hospital. It was awful you guys. In the hospital, I still couldn't eat and still couldn't drink anything. I was on morphine, I was on Phenergan, I was on hydrocodone, like I had to take like all these medicines to help with the nausea and help with the pain and they were just trying to figure out like what the hell is going on. They did CAT scans, we did an endoscopy, a colonoscopy, like I literally went through every single test possible. Now, warning you guys, this video is gonna contain some graphic pictures. I ended up getting the endoscopy and I was seeing one doctor at first and he couldn't really figure out what was going on with me. It just seemed like I had extreme nausea or whatever. And then I got a second opinion from another doctor and he was telling me that I exhibited some symptoms of Crohn's disease. And honestly, right now, it's still kind of up in the air, um, but I have been taking medication that relates to the Crohn's disease, and it's really helped me get back on my feet and get back to health. We're kind of leaning into that direction, my doctor and I, that we have that may have like a mild form of Crohn's disease. So anyone out there dealing with Crohn's disease, my prayers go out to you because this has literally been one of the worst experiences ever. They also told me in the hospital I wasn't very like reactive with my kids, so they put me on medication for that for like depression and that was such a hard thing for me to deal with because I was like I'm not a depressed person I'm like the happiest person in the world like I'm always laughing smiling having a good time and you know I went to see my doctor and she was like depression is not like oh my god I'm so sad like I want to hurt myself depression is like you're stressed you have anxiety you know it's all of those things and in the hospital they were telling me too that the flare-up from the Crohn's disease is due to stress. So, you know, that was my conclusion from all of this. I was just like overly stressed. I'm the type of person, like, if something is stressing me out, I never like to show my weakness. 
So I won't, like, if a person is stressing me out, I won't tell them, like, oh, you're stressing me out. I'll just kind of try to deal with them in some type of way, whatever way I think works. <laughs> so I'm definitely working on that now and just really trying to find my voice and not let people, like, run all over me because I have a tendency to do that. Like, I'll let people say whatever they want to me and I, unfortunately... <laughs> I take people's words to heart most of the time, and especially if they're people that are really close to me. I did change jobs, you know, right before I got sick, so that was part of the stress as well. I have three kids, and they're under the age of five, so that was pretty stressful. And before you guys leave comments, no, I'm not 17, I'm 27, going on 28, so I have three kids, it's okay. And to moms out there, like, if you guys are stressed with your kids, it's not a bad thing, like, it's okay. I was kind of, like, conditioned, not for my family, but from other people, to think that I was a flawed mother because I thought that having my three kids was stressful, you know, but it's okay, like, it's a stressful thing to have kids, and if you are, if you're, if you feel like you're struggling with it, just know that every mom struggles with it, and every parent in general struggles with it. Some people just try to hide it and make it seem like, oh, this is not stressful at all, but really... Like, it is definitely very stressful. So I think just, like, everything in life just kind of, like, ate me up inside, literally. <laughs> and until finally my stress just kind of boiled over. So people who are out there who are like me, where you just kind of, like, try to hide your stress, just don't do that. Like, really express yourself. And if you have something to say to someone, say it. And if you feel like you're being mistreated, speak up for yourself. And don't be afraid to defend yourself, you know. I don't like confrontation, that's why I don't do it, but I'm definitely learning and growing and working on that now, so that is where I have been. <laughs> right now, I am continuing just to work on a path of happiness and wellness, so I've made a, a lot of really large life changes in order to get to that place, and right now where I'm at in my life, I'm literally just so happy, like, I'm just continuing to work, learn, and grow, and and realize that there's nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much for everyone who sent me emails and well wishes and were concerned about me. I really do appreciate that, that means a lot to me. And as always you guys, I will see you on the next video.